Hello everybody, this is Keith from MetaScience Foundation, and I Digital Medium, and other assorted ventures. This is a special announcement we'd like to make to you today. For many years there has been a need for a place to have discussions uh, regarding life after death, instrumental transcommunication, and assorted paranormal topics. We've discussed collectively the shortcomings of social media, among them being censorship, as well as the inability to find data from the past, so you have to go looking for it. <clears throat> In order to move forward with these efforts, we've decided that it's time to build a forum. This forum will be at a domain called veranormal.com, so that's paranormal with a V instead of a P. The reason why this was chosen is because, obviously, it's close to the word paranormal, Number two, it does not exist yet in search engines, which means we have dominance over it. And number three, the, there's no such word as vera normal. However, in Swedish or other roots of the word, it means to be normal. So our task that we're trying to bring forward is to help the paranormal not be so paranormal. We would like to help bring it to the public to make it more normal. Now, of course, we're not going to be able to explain everything. However, there are some develop developments which are causing us to look at this and say, what is the best plan to move forward? One of the biggest issues is organization of an effort. We've known for many years that would take a lot of different people, volunteers. A lot of you have already volunteered in the past with iDigital Medium and other assorted um, collective ventures. There needs to be a lot of people in order to do this properly. By do this properly, I mean to collect, share, and pro provide a place for discussion that will remain standing for many years. Um, <clears throat> when I originally created the ITC Bridge Forum, it was mainly built by the people who came to participate, which is you. It was not necessarily something that I built. However, it still stands today as an archive of 10 years of work. In that forum, you'll find people such as Frank Sumption and um, Joe, the other fellow who made the ghost boxes, and you'll find a lot of historical information there. However, we ran into technical limitations. So we're moving forward now because we found a piece of forum software that seems to be able to do all these things, seems to be able to work on a mobile device properly, and looks clean and has options to add things, to build things in. There are other reasons. Since November of last year, there's been a collective effort of a private group of individuals, um, a research team. I would say it falls under iDigital Medium, however, it is people from various nations. This research team consists currently of five people, including myself. There are experiments that are being produced quickly and in great numbers. For those of you familiar with ITC, you will know that an energy field is built when you focus your intention on communicating with the world of spirit or understanding the answers to the universe, however you may choose to look at it. We are seeing that energy field has improved to such a level that when we listen to all our different experiments, some inside computers, some outside computers, some on radios, no matter what we turn on, for the most part, we're hearing the same voices, the same, the same messages, and this research group needed a place to be able to share their developments and have you, the public, assist us sometimes with ideas and brainstorm, brainstorm together. You could think of this forum as a think tank. While the forums of old, or the older days, shall I say previously, were mostly based around personal experience of EVP and other ITC types, such as pictures, um, the focus generally, from a personal perspective, seemed to be people wanting personal validation of their own experience. That is an important thing. However, as we move forward, one of our tasks is to demonstrate that everybody has the ability to build an energy field. Everybody has the ability 
to collectively, as mankind, decide that we are ready to both share and receive information. Let me tell you a little bit more about the forum. So it's a big project, there's a lot to build. It will fall under MetaScience Foundation. For those of you that, for those of you that don't know, MetaScience Foundation was built by George Meek in the late 70s, and it was in operation for almost 20 years. Most famously known for Spiritcom. However, George Meek and his colleagues did a lot of research into the answers or the questions of the universe, and they found some answers, some answers which we're still building on today. There's been a lot of focus on Spiritcom in the past and presently, and I feel that I need to say something regarding it. Most people, when they hear about Spiritcom, their first instinct is to say, how can I build that? Is to imitate the setup, which we've been doing, uh, and a lot of people have tried. However, there are two aspects to Spiritcom that remain troubling, and those two aspects are, number one, nobody was ever physically present when Bill O'Neill was, was having his conversations. <clears throat> Number two, I forget what number two is, but the essence is there was not enough evidence for us here today to say, Spiritcom was real, hey everybody, go duplicate it. But what we have learned is the principles, the universal laws that define communicating with spirit. Well, we haven't learned at all, we're, we're still learning. However, we do know that as Mark Macy has generously advocated over the years the most important is um, where you're coming from what is your attitude what is your intent and then you combine that with your own natural abilities whether it be the ability to write or take pictures or sing or uh, be a caregiver whatever it may be those blend from your personality into ITC. Okay, so there's, a, there's another issue or challenge that we're going to tackle. The paranormal world at large saw a surge after the movie White Noise, and from then we saw all the TV shows, the ghost shows, ghost hunts, and things of that nature. However, in that growth, there has been a lack of information regarding um, the previous understanding a lot of it created by George Meek and the other circles that were going on at the time, a lot of that understanding has been lost or it has not been presented to the public in an educational manner or perhaps even a demonstration, demonstrational manner where people can understand it and they can use it to learn from it. We find that communication with spirit, and I'm going to take another step back here, you know, you're going to notice I don't refer to it as life after death, and there's a reason for that. Life after death is too narrow of a scope for what we're trying to accomplish. This is about humanity, it's about mankind, it's about where are we going, it's about how do our energy systems affect those who try to communicate with spirit, etc. So life after death is just one little small community that's been created, and it's a very important community. As we move forward, there is sort of a merging. For those of you that know about ITC, Instrumental Transcommunication, communication with spirit through electronic devices, that's one area. It's always been set off on the side, by itself, segregated. And then there's physical mediumship, which is a, which is a specialized area, and, but it's also energy-based, okay? And then there's the larger paranormal crowd, of which I will admit I am not very knowledgeable in, but our colleagues are, such as Tim Woolworth and Jeremy Michael Bloxham, who are my sidekicks on most of these efforts that you've seen so far this year and will see upcoming. So there's the paranormal world and the general public, and then there's those of us who have, shall we say, an intense desire to, number one, not lose any de further data. Number two, to share that data, to disseminate it, to make sure the history isn't lost. 
Number three, to take those principles and to begin to develop them together as mankind, as humanity. Now, there's a lot to learn and there are some challenges. It will take people of both technical nature and people that do not have a technical nature. All are important. People of a technical nature have the responsibility of working towards achieving that sustained contact field. But then, once you achieve it, it's up to us to provide the details as to how it occurred and then give it to the public, see if they can reproduce it. When they can, we learn more about how this works, why it works, and then we begin to grow together. So the research group is very exciting to be in. It's people, most of them smarter than I am, technically. And we're moving forward with this because there's a need to bring these things together. Why does ITC have to be set up? Why does physical mediumship have to be set up? Why is paranormal set aside? Aren't we interested in all these things? Aren't we interested in UFOs, you know, aliens, all these different things? You can go down many different rabbit holes, but the essence of who we are, Meta Science Foundation, is to share the history of the past, to show how we got here, so when the world begins to learn about communication with life elsewhere, they begin to ask, where did this come from? We can simply point them to the resources. They won't be guessing. And so when you begin to explain ITC to someone, the first thing is you say ITC. They don't know the term. The second thing is you say instrumental transcommunication. It's a wonderful term, although a little bit outdated. But their eyes begin to gloss over because what does that mean to an average person? So we've begun to see that there's a responsibility upon our parts to explain the intricacies of physical mediumship, ITC, to the best extent that we can, you know, and the paranormal world, and provide a place where people can discuss, they can work on the experiments together. Um, there's all these different things we want to do. So we've been working for, who knows, seven, eight years without a forum that I'm aware that caters to these specific aspects. We still have the A-Trans forum um, from the original AAEVP and Tom and Lisa Butler. And we still have the German forum, which has seen a decline in recent years. However, we believe forums are going to come back because forums now have the ability to merge with social media a little bit. They have the ability to be like WordPress where you post articles. They have the ability for downloads, for, for galleries, for calendars. We're talking uh, coordination of remote circles for those of you trying to de develop physical mediumship. There are all these different things. There's a big need. We are going to try to fill that need and we ask for your support and help. So MetaScience Foundation is, is intended to be an incorporation of a nonprofit, sort of like AREI, Afterlife Research and Education Institute, or other organizations that are similar. This is so that we can acquire the resources, mostly technical, um, and receive a great benefit and use those for the forum, use those for the websites, use those for all the different things that we've been doing on our own for all this time, which leads me to the next point, sustainability. We all know that we would all love to just stay home and work on just experiments or just ITC. For those of, you know, as we know, physical mediumship is rather rare. Um, and usually the people that do that only do that because it requires so much attention and focus on energy. So sustainability. So we have multiple websites. There's Paranormal Study. There's iDigital Medium. There's... TDC Researchers, which is being worked on. There's ITC Bridge. Uh, now I'm forgetting a couple, but there's, there's efforts everywhere. We're trying to combine, in a sense, the information from all these different places and put them in one spot. Currently, there are five people in the research team. There's Tim, there's Jeremy, my sidekicks, and there's many of you out there also working, 
sharing, sharing on the social media networks selflessly, etc. My goal, our goal, is to try to make it easier to manage, easier to gain information. So back to the topic of sustainability. I can ramble on all day. And this is my first video on camera like this. We can't afford to do it ourselves. Very simply put, can't afford it. We don't have the time to do that full time. There's no way to sustain it. We don't have the resources. We barely get by on computers. We run 10 live streams or so 24 hours a day. Um, we're using the, our resources as best we can. And like all of you, we wish that we could just work all day long on nothing but the advancement of mankind through the things we learn about the paranormal. However, we have to work our way there. So in this new form, you will see, um, first of all, we believe information should be free. We believe the public has a right to information which can better mankind. So it's requiring us to be very skillful and tactful in ways in which we try to seek um, sustainability. And I'm going to tell you what some of those ways are now. Ads will be one of them. If you're a basic member and you don't support the forum in any way other than your contribution, ads will be one way. There will be services that we will hope to provide. Sorry, as far as the ads, uh, one would be when you come to the forum, you might see a Google ad somewhere. Everybody does it. That's how they survive. <clears throat> but if you contribute, we would have the ability to remove that, to take that away, to improve your user experience. In addition, we there's a possibility we might offer services. Maybe you've got audio files you want noise reduction done on. Maybe you've got a picture from an experiment you'd like to highlight it so everybody could see it. In Facebook, you would call that a boost. Maybe um, there's all these different ways, I've written them down, in which we will try to keep the information free while still providing what they would say in the business world, added value to you, the user, to us, and be able to put all this stuff together. So we're going to be very upfront and open about that. Veranormal.com will be a forum that is the discussion place and to bring information in, collect it, and to get that same information out. And to keep that information available for years, decades, beyond my lifetime, beyond your lifetime. That's the goal. So we have had to find creative ways and think of creative ways. How can we make this sustainable? And our goal is to start the forum and build it slowly add different things, add cool things, there might be chat, there might be all these different things that you enjoy on Facebook with the added benefit of you will easily be able to find that information you were looking for but only if everybody works together. Now we will have a need for volunteers obviously. <laughs> Everything from moderators to technical people to um, maybe people who provide services. There's all these different things, you know, to people that will tell me, tell us on the technical side, hey, here's something that could be added to the form to make it better, or here's a problem with the form, let me report it to you. There's all these different roles that would be laid out in the forum, open volunteer positions, if you would call them that, um, for people to come and assist. And we put the call out now, when you see that form, please come and assist. We're not trying to get rich. Um, the goal is sustainability for the forum, meaning we don't want to not be able to make our car payments because we're paying for the forum. So let me tell you about the forum. It's hosted in the cloud. It's scalable. What that means is as it grows, we have the ability to grow with it. Of course, there's a cost to that. Right now, it's not much. But as people continue to come, as they, um, down, as they submit files, samples, things like that, it will grow. Our intention is to grow the forum and then launch MetaScience Foundation as a nonprofit organization to assist with some of that. 
However, the forum itself is, should be self-contained. It should be sustained by the people that enjoy it. So, you know, not everybody can be technical. Not everybody can build forums. Not everybody can build websites. I found it extremely challenging in the last years. And so it's all about using technology to our advantage and using our collective networking to our advantage. So what I'm trying to say is, and I'll repeat it again, we will need your help. We will need your help and a show of support of an understanding of, hey, this is important to me. Hey, I do think history is important. Hey, I think the world should know about this or about that. Hey, I'm excited about energy experiments. What software do you have that you'll let us use? You know, and, and this is, we don't intend to sell software yet. So we were just going to create it, test it, and we have results we'll share with you. You will try to get the same results or better. Uh, it's not a competition contest, but these are the things that are possible. For those of you that want to look into the future, there's also the possibility inside this forum for those of you that already have your own networks, say a Facebook group and other different ways that you communicate with your supporters, there's the option of having, what they call it clubs, but it's basically your own area inside the forum that you manage that falls under the main forum. So just think of what that could mean and where it's leading. Think of a forum where you could go, you could talk about aliens, you could talk about ITC, you could talk about physical mediumship. We know it's not going to be easy street, right? Sometimes people like conflict, okay? But we're going to try to provide a place where everybody is friendly. We're not going to censor your material unless you're a troublemaker. Just want you to know that this needs to be a community effort. Um, that's basically it. So this is Keith from Meta Science Foundation, which doesn't exist yet, but will soon. And this is the announcement of an upcoming forum called veranormal.com. That's with a V as in Victor. Don't go there yet and start creating threads because I haven't fully designed it. We just want you to know that this is something that is dear to our hearts. It's a, these are problems we've discussed in private circles and settings many, many times. Information in Facebook comes up, disappears. So what do we do? We, re we repost it over and over and over and over again. And while that's great, how many of us are working harder than we have to be? Okay. I can also assure you that for this website, another reason why it's hosted in the cloud is so that people are responsible for its security. Not us in that regard. We never sell information. We don't take your email list like everybody else does and sell it off to other people. Our intent is to simply run a forum, to make it self-sustainable, to encourage those of you that already know about ITC and paranormal and associated topics to participate, but also to bring that information to the larger public who is not even aware that instrumental transcommunication even exists. And we're going to do that by speaking in their language. And we ask for your help. This is Keith Clark from Meta Science Foundation. We will see you soon.